For part two of this series, I am going to address praying at sporting events. I don't watch a lot of sports, but any time I see it, there are always people praying during those nerve-wracking moments in a tight game. This is just silly on top of silly. Even if you're religious, and the whole prayer thing makes sense, how can it possibly make sense to pray for something like that? If we are all God's children, then why the hell is he going to take sides in a sporting event? For that matter, would it even be considered important on the scale such a being deals with? It also seems kind of like cheating. Giving one team an extra player would seem quite unfair, but somehow asking a magical being to intervene on one team's behalf seems okay to some people. Then, of course, you have the players that do it a lot. And then, thank God, afterwards. We all condemn steroid usage in sports, but having God give you a little help seems to be acceptable. I thought the idea was to, to uh, succeed by your own skill. Then they thank God, which is basically a bribe, because, after all, praise is the one thing this character consistently demands. So it's like his currency, ergo a bribe. It doesn't go the other way, though. The players who thank God when they do well never seem to blame him for slumps. Talk about a lack of consistency. So, if all the times you screw up is you, and all the times you succeed is God, shouldn't that mean everyone could be a sports superstar if they pray enough? There are plenty of people who do a lot of praying, but don't seem to make it in sports. This seems like some serious favoritism, if you ask me. Earlier I said silly on top of silly. Well, I went over the silly topping, so here is the underlying nonsense. Prayer seems to be one of two things. It can be simply talking to something that never talks back, and who should already know what's on your mind anyway. Or sometimes, you also ask for something. It seems like God should already know what you want, though. So you have to wonder why you need to ask. If God has a plan, and knows everything, meaning he knew about all this at the beginning of time, why is he suddenly going to change his plan and the very causality he created to fulfill a request he knew you would ask before time began. Either it's part of the plan, or it's not. So, it seems like it was decided before you said anything, and would happen whether you said anything or not. Plus, we hear that he works in mysterious ways. Meaning, the results are, maybe you get what you want, and maybe you don't. It's kind of like wishing on a star, or when you blow out your birthday candles. It's exactly the way things would be if there was no God, and things just happened. But a little counting the hits, and ignoring the misses, based on a little preconceived bullshit, and people will believe pretty much anything. They never seem to notice that praying is indistinguishable from talking to yourself. So yeah, silly on top of silly.